Are you a dog or cat person? Dog. Okay, Easy. okay we can carry on. Well, I'm allergic to cats and I've got a French bulldog, so... <gasps> Hi. hi, hi. Thanks for coming on a date with me. That's all right. Thanks for um, asking me. This is a great time to have a date. It's night, obviously. Yeah, it's obviously, um, yeah. yeah. It's, you know, we've got a chic table setting. Gingham is very on trend. Is it? Well, I showed it last season, so yeah, it's still in, okay, yeah, it's still, still okay. on, in the shop, still on trend. And yes. some breadsticks, which are fresh. Not sure about the health and safety regulations around flowers in the breadsticks, but I'm going to let it fly. Oh, thank you. It's all right. Do you go on all of your dates with a list of questions? <sighs> well, you don't ever want to, like, a, a quiet moment, do you? True. You've got to keep that conversation True. It's flowing. It's slightly intimidating. Is it? You know, just to be like, so... Tell me about. Okay, Henry, where did you grow up? I grew up in a place called Ramsbottom. And that isn't a joke, <laughs> that is the truth. Um, and so, yeah, that's, I don't really, you don't really say that out loud very much if you're from. Was that somewhere. quite cathartic yeah. for you to say it again? Ramsbottom, um, <laughs> which is about half an hour outside of Manchester, up north. Do you go back? Uh, yeah, 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 my family's still there. So I go back. Uh, birthdays, Christmas. Since... Would, you, would you ever put it on a t shirt? Ram's bottom. Um, I mean, I've put worse things on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was your first job? So my, fir um, my first proper job, I suppose, like post graduation job, was for a magazine called Sneak, which was uh, very similar to Heat, but for a younger audience. And then I later um, took on. Smash Hits as well, so I went for Sneak and Smash Hits as their fashion editor. How fantastic. Yeah, it was. Did you always want to be a journalist? Or um, a, in a fashion magazine? Kind of. Can you I call Smash Hits fashion no. <laughs> in a fashion publication? No. Yes. Um, no, I always wanted to work... I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I think when ch putting the pressure on 18-year-olds to choose what they want to do for their career when they go to university is really hard. So I think you just need to find something that you like that you can then later mould and create your career later on. So I did journalism because I figured I could write about anything. I did um, a careers online questionnaire once that said I should be a fishmonger. Because I said to me, like, I think I ticked, I like what people and I wouldn't mind working outside. And they were like, fishmonger, obviously. Duh! Um, <laughs> yeah. And what's your day job now? My day job now is a uh, creative director of House of Holland, which is a fashion brand which I started 10 years ago. I started, I had this sort of like in joke with my friends about, oh, I should start some, making some t-shirts because I used to buy all of these slogan t-shirts about people like Paris Hilton and the Olsen twins. And I was like, I should do them about fashion people because my rock stars and my idols were fashion designers. Um, and so I did and um, it was literally, I, I hardly made any of them. I just made them as something for me and my friends to wear, to go to clubs in at night. And um, I did that and I made them and I gave them out to my friends and they, um, they kind of took off really quickly. And um, that was in September and then I quit my job at the Chris, in the Christmas holidays. What would your advice be for someone wanting to quit their job? Find out what you're gonna do first. Like I have people now that quit their job and they're like, I just need to, go and do something else and I'm like well have you got a job and they're like no and I'm like was it that bad here <laughs> I'm like, like figure out what it is you're gonna do and I, I'd actually started my next career to the point that I was unable to carry on doing the two side by side so I had to quit one um, but um, I think it's always good to have a plan however like blue sky thinking it is or however unrealistic that plan may seem it probably isn't that unrealistic as long as you have the confidence to achieve it but just don't go off and be like, I'm going to quit my job without any sort of plan. Is money important to you? Um, yes and no. Like, yes to the point that, like, I'd rather not worry about paying my mortgage and if I can eat and know that I don't sit at home and cry if I can't buy a new Rolex. I'm kind of... <laughs> it's a vintage Rolex. <laughs> and it was a gift. <laughs> um, no, like, I... It's not, it doesn't motivate me on a daily basis. Money doesn't motivate me on a daily basis. Fun and enjoyment and fulfillment motivates me on a daily basis. And money is the cherry on top. Okay, this is actually a make or break question. Oh, okay. Are sit you, yeah, sit up straight. Yeah. Are you a dog or cat person? Dog. 
Okay, easy. okay, we can carry on. Well, I'm allergic to cats and I've got a French bulldog, so <gasps> it's pretty easy to answer. Tell that. me about him. She. She. She has a very masculine energy, but she also has a very feminine face. She exudes so feminine yeah. She, yeah, people do get confused. She does have two rows of teeth at the front. So, <laughs> um, she's called Peggy. She uh, is the light of my life. She's very important. Who's the most famous person you've ever met? Oh. Um, the Queen. Or Rihanna, two queens. <laughs> two, in my two, eyes. Queen. two queens in my eyes. Um, did you shake? Yeah. Well, no, what do you do? You don't shake. What do you do? Oh, you, you just, bow. You bow. But the first time I was with Aggie and she forgot to curtsy and said, How's it going? Which you don't. Like, no one briefed us, but you definitely know that's not what you say. Sorry, <laughs> no, one, no one briefs you? No, no one briefed us when. No, either time. Do you ever Google yourself? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do, and how do you feel about that? Um, Is that weird? I don't know. I, well, I don't. I never read. Okay, fine. Anything. You just want to see your top of Google News or something. Or like, no. I like. It's often for Google Image for like something where I'm trying to find an old picture to send to a friend and be like, "Lol, well, remember that." Smash it, days. As, yeah, as yeah. part of a general conversation. I like. I have a very specific rule. If anything's written about you, never read the comments. That is the only way to survive and d just don't really read I don't like to read stuff that's written about me don't so you don't reply to people like if someone's saying something you don't be like actually you're wrong oh I've done that once and then regretted it thank you so much for talking to me and no going worries. on my first day oh that's fine so we're splitting the bill I take it we're splitting the bill but um, I'm gonna take the breadsticks oh, is there oh, <laughs> you go for it it's had a flower in it I know you're awful.